Hello and welcome to Zero Cool Gaming and today's anime review. Today we're going to be reviewing a movie called Nausicaa of the Valley of the Wind. Now, I may not have pronounced that first word quite correctly, but it's close enough. So, what is this story? Well, it's a post-apocalyptic... Um, I guess you could say a war between nations um, settled by insects it's an interesting uh, futuristic kind of science fiction but not really um, it's a different type of show so let's set up how this is how this show goes basically it starts out on a planet not too dissimilar to our own with a society that lives on it that has roughly the same technology that we do today but obviously a little little more advanced and they develop a, a bio weapon shall we call it a being that's capable of uh, creating strong energy blasts and these things essentially burn most of the world down um, they're eventually defeated and you know life goes on so many years later of course people are still alive and um, there are jungles all over the planet and these jungles essentially continue to grow larger and these jungles are toxic to human beings and basically the only thing that lives in them are giant insects um, the story itself is the story of a, a young girl and the different things that she goes through probably over the course of maybe a year um, but a lot of things seem to happen relatively quickly so, the whole story, in truth, revolves around a, a, what they call a fire demon that is found, which is one of these biological beings that were created a long time ago. They thought all of them were dead, but mankind found one of them, and they were trying to bring this thing back to life. Um... as a result of this thing's existence in that respect the insects within the uh, toxic forests are able to sense its existence or the fact that it's getting stronger or something so they uh, they try to destroy it and of course you know human beings being human beings decided to take it from where it was put it on a plane and you know try to take it someplace else and then they crash land in the uh, or crash land in the town that uh, the main character lives in. Um, from there, I can't exactly remember why they all decided that they had to go someplace else, but they did. Um, so basically they all get onto some planes along with this main character and uh, they start flying to another destination. And they get attacked um, by a gentleman who actually lived in the first town that was attacked by insects. Um, most of the planes go down in that. Uh, there's a few survivors and they crash land in a toxic jungle um, they have some interactions with insects uh, you know some things happen and then when they finally get out of the jungle they find that one of the uh, insects have been kidnapped and basically tortured and they were going to use it as bait to uh, destroy the town that this um, demon that's being resurrected is currently in in the hopes of destroying the demon as well um, 
And of course that leads to some problems, so they try to put a stop to that, and then the insects do come, and everybody thinks the main character dies, and then of course she's saved at the end of it. Uh, by the insects, no less. So, it's an interesting story, and it basically amounts to the, the humans that lived on this world weren't willing to accept that they no longer, in truth, were the, the rulers of that world. Um, the insects, at that point, rule that world, and, you know, we're, we're along for the ride in that respect are there along for the ride. Uh, they can either learn to live with them or yeah, they'll be wiped out because of them. So, it's, it's an interesting story, absolutely. Uh, and it gives you some things to think about along the way. But uh, did I enjoy the story? Yeah, I've watched it like four or five times. It's a good story. Yeah, I think it's Studio Ghibli. If not, it, it's much like what they would do. Um, So it's an older style of uh, anime. The um, story itself, it, it's well written enough. I mean, it's not designed to truly make you go deep into deep thought about anything. There are a few questions of morality and what's right and wrong that are brought up. Um, right from the get-go, it, it's the question about you know, life in that respect. Um, putting one life over another because of its perceived status. Um, and that's, yeah, that would be a hard thing to get through people because that you couldn't uh, just go around slaughtering insects anymore. Cause, um, they seem to be able to talk to one another in, on this world and they don't like that stuff and there's more than enough of them to uh, eliminate your entire town so don't do that anymore that would be a hard concept to get through people's heads so and that's kind of what this show tries to, to tackle without um, actually tackling it because it never provides an answer on how to do that but it does present the question which you know I, I get that um, just because something looks different or acts different or, you know, whatever in that respect doesn't necessarily mean that uh, they don't have value or even that they're not intelligent enough to understand what's going on around them. Um, so yeah, very interesting story. I enjoyed it. And that's my review of uh, Najika of the Valley of the Wind and... You know, if you've never seen it, maybe you'll pick this one up and give it a watch. It's definitely worth uh, watching. Um, that's my rant for the day, and I hope you enjoy the rest of yours.